welcome students today we will see f6 and we will be discussing one more important question in this video this question was asked in dlr first year exam and the question was what are the soft skills required for language teacher that question will be discussing in this video first of all we will see what are the skills that are really needed for the language teacher one by one these are the skills are given here we will be seeing this one first point is gesture and body language here we can see how the teacher speaks how the teacher stands how the teacher communicate and when he is speaking how his entire body looks that is gesture now we have to control all our uh, body parts while we communicating only not only our mouth or not only our sound communicates but our eyes hands and whole body is communicating that's why we have to very much carefully we have to see what our other body parts are doing so first of all we will see our eye contact when we are talking we have to make eye contact if we are talking with the students we have to look in their eyes and then we have to communicate then there is there is one more another point is smile whenever you are talking go with a great smile on your face and the smile is also one a great factor while communicating or as a language teacher we have to we should have that smile on our face and as a english language teacher students are really new for that language and they are not familiar with this language and if a teacher goes in the class with a smiling face then the students will attract to the teacher and they will try to learn something new another one is your hand movement some people are they are moving their hands unnecessarily or they are just keeping their hands locked or behind the back and they are communicating we have to use our hands as per our need we should not move we should not do our hands movement unnecessary this point also we have to look very carefully <laughs> then another point comes where while uh, as a soft skill when we are speaking or as a language teacher how we stand in front of the students in the class or outside the class in front of the parents or any with anybody how we are dealing them and when we are speaking with them how we are standing so our standing position should be very straight our neck should be somewhat uh, somewhat looking we should look in their eyes our neck position should be straight our back our this back should be very uh, straight and we should talk in this way our standing position should not be uh, we should not bend while we are talking over this then another point comes here communication skill <laughs> as we know as a primary teacher we are facing so many new students and as an english language teacher they are very new to this language and our communication skill with them that should be very good with them <laughs> we should not speak very great or that type of level english we should not deliver to them we should speak very small small sentences with them and while communicating our message should be very clear and uh, this is the communication skill how we communicate with the student we we have to come down with that level and we have to communicate with the small students nature our nature should be very kind while we are talking we should not uh, shout on them we should not shout on them aplyala tya mulanna dataycha nahi kiwa tyancha varti ordaycha nahi ye tanna vyavasthit pane premal pane samjhaun sangaycha we should not dominating them our nature should be very friendly it's communicating with the other stakeholders we should be very respectful with the other people so while talking with the parents we should communicate with them very respectfully we should give them respect and not only with the with with all we have to communicate very nicely that is the another uh, that skill comes communication skill third one is critical thinking and psa problem solving aptitude or problem solving skill now what is critical thinking if suddenly some incident happens and what teacher does in that uh, condition that is critical thinking while dealing the class we should face so many problems we should be very we should think in many ways in many aspects we have to think in in daily life also so many problems will come and in the students life there will be so many problems in a, in a new generation there will be problems related to their ma, uh, mind their study their family problem in all other aspects we have to think like 
we are their parents then that is critical thinking and another points come here problem solving skill as a language teacher there will be so many problems in the class uh, for a very small problem we should have a solution and that is problem solving skill also one language teacher should have then there is a cultural intelligence while teaching in the class you will be posted in some remote areas there you will face so many students those who come from the backward classes or backward backgrounds or many many students will come in the class and there will be one cultural mixer then you, you will see so many different types of students there you have to go and you have to manage all that background students where they come for study and you have to teach them in a nice way and that is your cultural intelligence as we have studied no one is superior and no one is inferior we have to see that one cultural uh, balance we have to make and we have to behave like that that's one skill we should have here the last and uh, important point is there teamwork as a teacher you have to work in a team you are not a one man army you have to you have to always work in a group with your your administrative staff with your all other colleagues with the students with the parents with the committees you have to work and while working your teamwork spirit where teamwork spirit is very important you have to deal all the problems you have to go you have to work in the you have to work in the team and that skill is very important in a team for the students you can arrange so many games so many competitions you can arrange you, if you are arranging some sports uh, sports events then you have to uh, you have to be in a team and uh, if there it is said that the great team gives a good academic performance and creative potentials so that's all in this video like share and subscribe